This actress has consistently found a spot on Max and Magazine's top 100 list. Today, we're going over some of Autumn Reeser's best Hallmark movies. The stunning actress that she is, Autumn Reeser is most recognized for her role in the drama series The O.C. The actress has worked on numerous films, plays, TV shows over the course of her 10-year career. Reeser is well known for her work in the dramas Valentine, Hawaii Five-0, and many others. Although she has a pretty rocky relationship when it comes to her personal life, she has managed to treat us with some of the most romantic ensembles that TV has to offer. As for her real life, after divorcing her ex-husband, Jesse Warren, the actress is seen living a happy life with her kids. And that's not to say that it isn't loaded with a ton of other projects that only seem to credit a wide array of decorative work. But today's video is all about Hallmark, and there's nothing sweeter than seeing Reeser showcasing her talents in a varied list of characters for the network. To simply say, Reeser puts life into all of her characters, and these Hallmark movies are a testimony to this claim. So without wasting any more time, let's start with a classic. We're talking about a movie titled Christmas Under the Stars. Starring Autumn Reeser and Jesse Metcalf, this movie talks about Nick, a career-driven investment banker who accepts a position at a Christmas tree lot run by a kind-hearted widower. Sadly, Nick was sacked from his prestigious firm during the holiday season, but he was oblivious to the fact that there was joy headed his way. And that's when he gets to meet Julie, a teacher of astronomy who has consistently looked to the heavens for inspiration. Wow, this is already sounding so good. The self-centered Nick learns the joy of giving to others as the Christmas spirit sweeps over him and he starts to fall for Julie. To build a bond between the two, Nick tries to solve Julie and the tree lot owner's problems so they can spend Christmas together under the stars. Wondering how they're planning to do this? Take a look at this snippet from this movie. Well, lucky for you, I happen to be an expert Christmas caroler. There is Rusty the Snowman. What? 31 days of Christmas. <laughs> That's not what they are. And Rudolph the Runny Nose Reindeer. <laughs> oh, and uh, boy to the world. <laughs> now that's what I call a perfect Christmas movie. As for the viewers, fans loved it. Christmas Under the Stars, like most of Hallmark's films, appeared to be a beautiful experience. In addition, there were some of the customary Christmas celebrations, like the lighting of the town tree, decorating the tree, and the very exciting event of gift opening. In an interview with Hallmark Channel, the actors revealed how they felt about working with each other. See again was a big part of why I wanted to do this movie. I love working with, I have such like a soft spot for him in my heart. I was really excited when I found out I was gonna be working with Autumn Reeser again. We have something special. In an interview with Hallmark, Reeser revealed that this movie is very special to her and that this in itself was a big deal for her. She also gave us a little more insight into how she spends Christmas. I'm sort of an untraditional, traditional person. I like to mix it up every single year. We have a different type of, type, of, type of tree every year. Some years we do, what did we do a couple years ago? A bunch of little mini trees. And well, oh, yeah. all of us do have that one thing we prefer to do differently, don't we? But Christmas Under the Stars was truly a magical movie. But this next movie featured your all-time favorite heartthrob alongside the goddess of talent, Autumn Reeser. We're talking about one of the most discussed Hallmark movies ever, Always Amore. Now, you would love this movie for its plot, or maybe its theme, but if you ask me, it is the presence of this 36-year-old actor which makes it all the more special. We're talking about Tyler Hines, and I cannot stop gushing over how cute this pair looks together. Let this person who we've never met turn everything upside down. He's the best in the business. Speaking of the plot, the main character of the film is Elizabeth, who's working tirelessly to keep her late husband's once famous Italian restaurant open with the help of her mother-in-law, Nona. She is compelled to work with Ben, a qualified restaurant consultant, to try and turn things around because the company is struggling. Elizabeth first opposes the improvements Ben thinks will rescue the restaurant, but as they approach, Elizabeth comes to understand that not all change is detrimental. She rediscovers her love for baking and may even allow new love to enter her life. For a plot like this, we could not have asked for better casting. Let me out of here. <laughs> However, I am very glad that you made time to bake this today. <laughs> we all are. And did you see the chemistry? Isn't it magical? Who wouldn't want to watch this iconic Reeser film? The lovely and exquisitely crafted movie will make you feel good inside, and what's more, it will also make you crave Italian food. In addition, it emphasizes principles like empathy, teamwork, love, 
and family. In an interview with Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, Reeser spoke about her character in the film and how she's so proud of Elizabeth in the movie. She said, I think a lot of women, um, a lot of us humans relate to carrying so much responsibility on our shoulders and um, the deep love that we feel for the people in our life and our um, fear of letting them down. Reeser also mentioned her favorite scene that she is excited for viewers to watch in the movie. How cute is that? Take a look at this. Yeah, I'm excited um, for, for people to see the family we created at the restaurant because I think all of our, our co-stars were so talented and put so much into this. Everybody really took it seriously and um, put a lot of who they are in. For it. those who believe in love and unwittingly fall in love, the Hallmark film, Always Amore, is a must watch. But this next movie consists of not one, not two, but three of your favorite American sweethearts and all in the same movie? There's no way you can miss out on this one. We're talking about Hallmark's most successful mystery movie, The Wedding Veil Unveiled. This 2022 movie starring Lacey Chabert, Allison Sweeney, and Autumn Reeser is the only thing you need to start the new year with. The Veil Are you getting married? is back. No, no. Excuse me, you will drop this. If you are not getting married, why bring it to Italy? To find out where Emma, a professor from Chicago, teaches American art history in Italy. She spends her free time there investigating the origins of the veil, which brings her to the vibrant island community of Burano, known for its wonderfully woven lace. She finds the oldest store on the island, and the proprietor welcomes the veil with enthusiasm. Emma is unable to communicate in Italian, but happily the man she met earlier arrives, and he tries to help her out. Once there, she discovers that his grandma owned the shop and that his name was Paolo. He reveals that although his family had believed the veil to be destroyed, it actually has a special link to them. Emma and Paolo decide to collaborate in order to solve the century-old mystery. They grow to know one another better as they spend time together, and Paolo teaches Emma to let go and appreciate Italy's beauty. Emma isn't sure she can handle another long-distance relationship as she gets ready to leave back for Chicago but the veil and its mythology might have other ideas. I read that last year alone, there were over 50,000. Do you want to leave a letter? No, I'm good. You don't have to be in love to write one. I wouldn't know what to say. This movie just works for a variety of reasons. Autumn Reeser and Paolo Berdinardi also get along really well. They both genuinely embody their roles, giving the impression that you're watching two people truly falling in love. You find yourself engaged in the movie and hoping that the legends are genuine because of their charm, passion, and love for Italy, the veil, and of course each other. In an interview with Kelly Clarkson, she mentioned the three actresses of the movie as the Avengers of Hallmark. Now, isn't that an achievement? Reeser also revealed that Lacey and Allison did help her with the parenting part in real life. Isn't that real bonding? Reeser said, they were so passionate about Disneyland and the experience of taking your kids to Disneyland, which Wait. is something I hadn't done with my sons yet. Wait, what? The crowds and the expense, <laughs> and they convinced me, and I took my kids to Disneyland for New Year's. Extremely this wholesome indeed. In an interview with Hallmark, Risa further revealed that the entire movie is her favorite scene. She said, you get these moments so rarely where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm in I'm in a movie. I feel like I feel all of the magic. I was filming in St. Mark's Square. I had this beautiful hat on and a dress and there's pigeons. This flying. is a top-notch Hallmark movie for sure. It's lovely and comforting. And of course, we don't expect anything less from Autumn Reeser. But one of the reasons you should watch this next movie is because of the cast. Now, you may be wondering why we stress on it because we are talking about the perfect combination, Andrew Walker and Autumn Reeser. That you took a day off for self-care. I had a teeth cleaning last week. For this week's video post, you'll find it easy to disconnect here. That and not having clocks. You don't have the clocks. The movie, The 27 Hour Day, talks about Lauren, who is an efficiency expert in the lifestyle and wellness business called The 27 Hour Day, which can assist anyone who needs assistance finding extra time in the day. She has a successful podcast, a well-read blog, and a devoted social media following that watches her every move. She excels at what she does and is prepared to advance by accompanying her hero 
on a speaking tour. Lauren nearly loses it when her hero advises her to unplug for a bit in order to figure out what's missing in her life. She has never been on vacation before, and she's unsure of how it would benefit her. But she decides to travel to a mountain retreat and learns that the grass very well may be greener on the other side of the fence. The Montana Resort, which is renowned as a top spot for rest and renewal, is owned by Jack and his family. Running the resort was never in Jack's goals, and after meeting Lauren, he begins to wonder if he has his priorities right. Hi. Hey. I realized I didn't ask you what its name is. Oh, uh, she doesn't have one yet. We adore how Lauren and Jack complement each other. They are identical with little variances that would make them an excellent match in real life. But do you know what else is great? That we have got the best content for you to binge watch on. And if you want more videos like this, stick around to our channel. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. With that out of the way, in this movie, the lead cast portrays two persons who deal with similar characteristics in different ways. Lauren eventually leans into her personality type while Jack downplays his. Lauren understands, despite Jack's taunting about her inclinations, that he is more similar to her than he believes when she observes how he loads his dishwasher, among other things. Although in the movie, Reeser is a workaholic, in real life, she loves to be outdoors and do activities. In an interview with Hallmarkie's podcast, Risa revealed. Andrew and I, one of the things that we share is like our love of the outdoors. And um, I just got back from backpacking Pat Catalina Island for a week. Oh. So I did the Trans Catalina Trail. Clearly, this movie is a must watch for all the workaholics out there. Take some time off and explore the romance. You may never know who you would find. As we approach the end of this video, you must have understood by now that if you haven't watched movies yet, you've missed out a lot. And this is just a gist of what Racer has in store for you. So which is your favorite Autumn Racer movie? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.